Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. So today's video is going to look at prepositions of place, um, something which isn't easy and does cause students a lot of issues. I think the problem is that when people learn this and when we as teachers teach it, is people generally do it all together. There's a lot of rules, a lot of situations, and it just becomes too confusing. We're just going to look at the difference between on and in, in a few different situations, but where the concept is the same. So after the lesson, you're going to have a really good idea of when to use these prepositions. So anyway, the mistake is up here. I keep my eggs on the fridge. So just pause the video, but also think why the sentence is wrong. Where are the eggs? And well done if you said, I keep my eggs in the fridge because they are inside the fridge. Sounds simple, but students often make this mistake. But one which is maybe a little bit more confusing is when something isn't in, inside, but is surrounded by. And we still use preposition in. So for example, the flowers are in the vase, the TV is in the living room, and we have a swimming pool in the garden. Inside or surrounded by, we're gonna use preposition in. So when do we use preposition on? I think students learn quite early that on is used for one thing above another. For example, the books are on the table. But a better way to think about this is always about something is on the surface. For example, my hand is on the wall, or there is a painting on the wall. There is a spider on the ceiling. On, 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 all on the surface, so that's when we use the preposition. So that being said, just pause the video and try to complete these sentences with on or in, depending on the situation. And well done if you said, I cook pasta on the hob, but I cook pizza in the oven, inside. Uh, I wash my hands in the sink. Where is John? He's on the toilet but then I dropped my phone in the toilet. It was surrounded by the toilet. So those are the general rules and they apply to most things around the house. Sit, lie and stand. It gets a bit more confusing bringing the preposition at. So I'm gonna do that in another video in the next few days. For that reason, do make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already to catch that video next week. But a couple more specific things in your house. We say in a picture or photo. So who is that in the photo? And we say in the corner of a room. So my TV is in the corner of the living room. Just be careful because outside it's different. We say on the corner. So there is a shop on the corner of my street. So anyway, that's for things in your house, but the same rules and concepts apply to your body. So just pause the video, correct these sentences, but also think why they are wrong. And well done if you said you need to put sun cream on your skin, because again, we're talking about the surface of the skin or your body. The next one, I have a pain in my arm because the pain is inside. Same concept. So that being said, just pause the video and try to complete these sentences with on or in to talk about the body. And well done if you said your nose is on your face, but your brain is in inside your head. Uh, you wear a watch on your wrist, a ring on your finger. 
you might say to someone, you have something on your nose. Food is digested in the stomach, inside. And the last one's a little bit confusing. Uh, we say, I have something in my eye. Maybe it's not inside, but that's what we say. So that's for the body. Um, another situation, and the last one we're gonna practice, is with food. Same concept, if it's talking about the surface, on, if it's inside or surrounded by, use in. So that being said, pause the video, try to complete these two sentences with on or in. And well done. If you said the pizza is on the plate, whereas the soup is in a bowl, surrounded by the bowl, you might ask, is there meat in this dish? inside the dish, then I grate cheese on pasta onto the surface. Same with I put ketchup on fries, I put jam on toast, and then I put ice in my drink, or you might say there's a hair in my soup. And the final mistake I'm going to show you is this one. I think there is life in Mars. This would mean inside the planet. We want the surface, so I think there's life on Mars. On Mars, on a planet, on the moon, on Earth. But just as English has to be awkward, we say in the world. So I could live anywhere in the world, anywhere on Earth. So finally, today's question, uh, what can you see in this photo? So write as many sentences as you can in the chat using preposition on or in. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, do make sure to check out the other video I made on prepositions of place and also the other prepositions videos. They're not easy in English, but if you learn these little bits individually, you'll start building up your knowledge, becoming much more accurate. Other than that, I'll see you for Phrasal Friday tomorrow. So until then, See ya.